much as people probably think I was having fun, uh, it wasn't that exciting. You know, it's 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 fun to be home in in, in LA in the off season, but when you're at home on your couch watching your team, it's it's not that cool. So uh, I'm just happy to be back. Um, feeling pretty good. Just you know, here to help the team any way I can and try and you know go and finish this last season, uh, the last stretch of the season, on a positive note and get some momentum going into the summer. You've had some difficulties, obviously, Chandler, since you've been here. Where does this one rank in terms of being, I guess, banished may be a difficult word, but that's what it yeah. seems like. Uh, this is up there. Uh, like I said, it hasn't been fun. Um, and it's just been exhausting, man. It's, it's not it's not how I pictured anything going. But, um, you know, like I said, hopefully we can move on past it. And, uh, you know, I'm here now, and uh, I miss my teammates. I miss my coaches. Uh, I miss my team. So. Like I said, I'm here to do anything I can to, to help us win as many games as possible down the stretch. Chandler, what prompted just, the, I guess, the reconciliation, if you will? Like, was there anything, any, was it the Anthony Davis stuff that came out? How, how did this all come to be where you guys were able to mend it? I think ultimately I just, you know, they gave me a couple of options, and I decided to give them space and let them make the moves that they wanted to, to move, and I let them know ahead of time. If, I, if I'm not traded, I'm going to come back, and, you know, I'm, I miss my team. I don't want to be in L.A. I don't want to be home not playing, not practicing. And, uh, you know, I want to be here. So um, I, I didn't talk to anybody other than my agent. And I guess he talked to upstairs. But, uh, yeah, man, I just I, I can help the team win. So I'm going to try and do that. How much are you going to play, Chandler? Oh, that's up to JB. Uh, Is it up to JB? Are you hoping it's up to JB? Who else? He's the head, I mean, he's the well, head coach. I'm talking about organizationally speaking. Do they have a plan? That... I don't know. I don't really speak to them uh, that much. So I, I guess you guys got to ask JB. Um, when everything first went down, uh, did you expect that you would be able to come back this season, or was it just for something else? Um, honestly, I, I was always hopeful. Um, to be honest with you, I just wanted to play. I've always wanted to play all, all along since I've been cleared to play. Uh, you know, whenever that was. So. Um, I've done everything the right way. Uh, you know, I've never caused any trouble. I've never, um, you know, always got along with my teammates, love my head coach. Uh, so I've always just wanted to play and be healthy. And a lot of that stuff is out of my control, especially when it's health related. And, you know, it sucks. It's not fun. It's painful. It's frustrating. Um, so I just try to manage all that and put myself in the best position to feel good on game days and, and play. There's so many new faces on this team since the last time you were here. JB was joking. You're now one of the new guys, yeah. too. What was it like when you first got um, back? A lot of introductions. Obviously, just throughout the league, you, you know everybody, and you spend some time with them in the summer and play pickup and things like that. And just you know, watching games and playing against them, I know how they play. And you know, I think we got a bunch of good guys that you know, play the right way, uh, do the right things. And it's definitely, it feels like uh, the first day of school when I went to the school earlier in the year. It's weird. But, Do you have any expectations for yourself these last 25 games or so, like what you want to accomplish? I mean, with me, it's always been health. Uh, if I'm healthy, I can play. If I'm not, I'm, I'm not very good. So, uh, you know, I, I think that's, that's it for me, is if I can find ways to stay healthy and stay on the floor, I can, I can find ways to help this team win and make shots, play make, and, and do what I, you know, do what I do. But, um, like I said, that's up to JB. I'm just here uh, to help any way I can. I don't care if it's four minutes. I don't care if it's 20 minutes. Uh, I don't care if I don't play. I just miss my teammates, and I wanted to be back here. Is there a concern with with your knees still right now, and you won't really have that answer until you give it a go? Well, it's, I haven't played five on five since you know yesterday was my first five on five. There's no, it's not exactly pickup right now in LA. So as much working out and lifting and shooting I did, you can't really simulate games which is which is tough um, but I played five on five yesterday I played five on five today and obviously my knees are always gonna be painful they're always gonna be sore but like I said I just got to continue to find ways to manage them stay light eat the right things um, do all those little things that you know cause inflammation I got to eliminate that and uh, my goal is just to stay healthy and play. You mentioned that you you told the team that if they, you weren't traded that you were want you were gonna come back. Was your hope to be traded just as bad as things have gone since you got here? Were, were you hopeful? You Honestly, got a new start? No. I mean, I look at this just as, as just as a new start as, as going to another team. Except that you know I'm familiar with the city. I'm familiar with the coaching staff, the defensive terminology. So 
I, I just wanted to play. I wanted to play when I was cleared two months ago, and that hasn't changed. Um, you know, I chose to come here, and, and I still want to be here. And I wasn't just going to stay in LA and watch my team uh, play for the last six weeks of the season. I was going to come, and uh, that's that. Just to set the record straight, they, they, the, the team mentioned when, when this happened, or whatever it was, a month, month and a half ago, that they gave you the option of going to the G League. Yeah. How would you describe what the option was was to you well, as three, presented to the you? The three options were stay in Memphis, but be away from the team and train at Campbell Clinic, which I don't know who would do that. If I'm staying here, I would like to work with my team and practice at least so I can get familiar, but that wasn't an option. I was supposed to stay here and work at Campbell Clinic. Um, second option was to go to the D-League, play four games, and then see my progress. So, it's you know, it wasn't like a an ego thing for me not to go play a deal. Like, I would have loved to go play one, two, three. Even if you said four games, go play, and then you're back in the lineup, I would have done that with a, you know, a smile on my face. But as a 30-year-old player with three knee surgeries, I'm not going down to the G League to play in a, an open-ended stint. That's just unheard of. It's never happened before. You can, you can look all across the league. That's literally never happened. Um, so that was an option. And then basically the only other option was to, they said to go home and train and wait till the, the trading deadline and if we can find a move for you we will if we can't we'll cross that bridge when we get there and so we crossed the bridge and i'm here is there any awkwardness today uh you know was it no nah, no nah, there's there's never been awkwardness in the locker room there's never been awkwardness in the coaching staff that's that's it's basketball we're all here to hoop we're all here to have fun we all like each other it's a little different now with some of these new guys that i haven't you know seen very often but you know this is you know Coaching staff wise, one of my favorite coaching staff teammates. We got great guys on the team. Uh, so I've never had any issues with anybody down here.